Now, is this guy a hero or an overzealous vigilante? The father of seven is a one-man crime-fighting machine, taking on lawbreakers wherever he finds them. With more, we go live to reporter Chris Allen. Chris? Tracy, they call him the Kevinator. His real name is Kevin Martin, a security guard of 22 years. Much of that time he spent chasing shoplifters around shopping centres here in Logan on Brisbane's south side. But for Kevin, it's not just a job, it's a way of life. He spends his spare time getting involved whenever he sees a crime committed. Not just here, but wherever he is around the country. And as you're about to see, on occasions, he's helped the police literally run down suspects, recording the whole thing on video. He's in the daycare centre. He's over the fence. So a, lot, a lot of people can't believe the stories you tell them. He's in the daycare centre. And they just go, no way, you can't believe it. You know, he's show me the video footage. And of course I've got video footage. I made sure these kids don't get done by this Don't move, mate. You get your hands up. Kev Martin is about to take on a wanted suspect on the run from police. No, let's get on the ground. OK. 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 Up here! Okay. Kev holds the wanted man down until police arrive and make an arrest. Big Hail Lima 761 in custody. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Um, just so happened to be that I'd just um, be in the right place and um, outsmarted the crook and jumped on top of him. I'll see you later. Tagged and bagged, eh? Welcome to Kev's world where he's determined to clean up the streets one crime at a time. Hey, mate, you've been drinking a bit, have you? Hello? Have you had a bit to drink, mate, have you? Yeah? How much do you think you've had to drink? This driver has just run a red light and collided with another car driven by a pregnant woman. With no police on the scene, Kev says he tries to help the alleged drunk driver while the Ambos deal with the pregnant lady. Kev takes her car keys and she gets abusive. You want your car keys? Yes, I do! Yeah. Leave me alone! Not going Fuck off. Okay? You... Get out of the way from me! Kill you! Hey! Throwing out of the car again. Okay? Oh, no. Keep your hands to yourself! So she's clearly freaking out. She's all over the shop and she just punches the ambulance officer right there. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, my God. Get over here! You know, I immediately just threw her out of the car and pin it to the ground so the ambulance officers can then you know, do what they need to do. You cannot assault us! You're now going to be charged. And she admitted she'd been drinking. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah the off ambulance officers are questioning her about uh, what drugs she's taken today and what alcohol, and she said she had both. Have you been drinking today? Yes. Have you, have you taken any other drugs as well as drinking? What kind of drugs have you taken? Just so we can admit. Eventually, the woman is restrained and placed in an ambulance, and the Ambos thank care. Thanks, buddy. We'll argue. Uh, the coppers are going to get in touch with you. And then the police call me um, later in the next day to, um, to get any um, statement off me. I've got video footage of them, her assaulting the ambulance officers. So that's just not on. Can't do that. Holy oh, is that black smoke there? Here, Kev spots black smoke on the horizon. I was on my way to work and I thought, no way, I'm definitely going to investigate it for myself. And uh, sure enough, I was the first one there. Is, is anyone stuck in there or anything, guys? <laughs> Have you got any, anything just valuable just here? My computer. You can computer? Just don't go out of my sight, mate. Don't go out of my side, OK? Kev turns off the power to the house and tries to help find the family pet. Come on, let's go away, eh? Come on. Come on. The glass could pop any minute, guys. Come on. The, the dog was actually in the house, but it actually got jammed um, running away in the back patio and it was um, caught underneath the... Um, uh, one of the panels at the back and the um, one of the fire officers came out with the dog and the owner was just ecstatic, you know, just great that they found their little dog. Hey, save the dog! What I do when I first come into a shop, I quickly have a first 
look around her. For 22 years, Kev, who's father of seven, has been an undercover security guard, mostly targeting shoplifters. I was just walking past this door and I seen a lady. I don't know why they look suspicious to me, but they do. Even when he's not on duty, he can't help himself. After spotting something suspicious, Kev chases this woman to the car park. Can you tell me what's happened here now? Oh, shoplifting, as usual. Take it back. And straight away, she just admits, oh, yeah, you can have the stuff back. You're all right. How, how much we got worth here? Oh, I don't know. How well, much they're about 20 bucks worth each, are they? Yeah, don't have to make a big scene, mate. Why not? These are all your items. Today, that's $138 worth. But they had no idea that she even stole. Unaware she'd been robbed, the shopkeeper is angry. You've just stolen. You just stole all this stuff. We work so hard. So hard they People do. People like you, they're just, it's disgraceful. Oh. No, it's just not good enough. Well, well, the bigger shops can afford security officers like myself to, to catch them and get rid of them. The little shops, they can't afford it, and they're just so angry. Uh, a lot of people have. Just, just had enough. It's costing me roughly um, t about 10%. Wow. Yeah, I lose about 10%. Jade McCallum is one of those shop owners who've had enough. Jade says she catches three shoplifters a week in her Brisbane boutique, Sassy Coco. You won't get away with it. We'll get you. To try and stop the shoplifting, Jade's installed four security cameras in the four corners of the store. And even though there are signs saying they're here, the shoplifters either don't see them or simply don't care. Yeah, this is the one. Um, she actually drops it onto the ground in just a second. Yasmin is Jade's daughter. She shows us the shoplifters they've recently caught in action. So she's looking around to see if you're watching. Clear as day. After dropping something on the ground, this lady stuffs it in her bag and leaves the store. Noticing staff are busy, this shopper also stuffs clothing into her bag. Taking it off the hanger. Popping it into the bag. Another lady even sees it happening. And did you catch up with this woman? Yes, we did. She was um, busy having a coffee after her shop. We'll catch you. Simple as that. Absolutely. <laughs> yep, and we will shame you. Put you on our Facebook and you will be recognised and, and yeah, shamed. shamed, embarrassed. And they do. Jade has started a wall of shame, something Kev Martin says shoplifters deserve. Absolutely, and so they should, yeah. They, they want a safe environment for themselves to come to. You know, they want to work and know that they're people that are coming in are shoppers, not shoplifters. There's always someone watching. Kev says it's time people took direct action. After discovering this regular customer had stolen from them, the ladies at Sassy Coco sent her an angry message on Facebook and she returned the goods to police. It's getting worse, yeah. When, when people like myself can walk into a store and within a minute find a suspect. The shoes, buddy, what's the go with them? One day at Bunnings, Kev says he spots this man who's walked out in a pair of boots without paying. So Kev confronts him outside. You walk back with me now, get no, your shoes. I'm not walking back with you now. Well, you'll be charged for it, simple as that. What are you talking about? Maybe. All right, I'll take them back, right? Because I know I don't have the receipt at home. On holidays in Melbourne, Kev catches this man with $700 worth of cosmetics stuffed in his jumper. It just keeps coming, I'm like, as you see my face in this video clip just here. <laughs> I'm a bit shocked on how, how much he, he had there. Gosh. I think it all up was 26 bottles. And so what would you be saying to uh, potential shoplifters out there? No, you'll get caught. You see this face, you'll get caught. <laughs> That's for sure. He is certainly a man who loves his job. And while Kev is a trained security guard, the advice from police is not to confront someone who's breaking the law. They say call triple zero and let them handle it.